Oh, hi there. You're right on time and wow, you're looking sharp. Today, Daniel's off to a street festival and that is the biggest street festival in America. That's the Mardi Gras held every year in New Orleans, Louisiana. And there's Daniel, so here we are. This is Daniel Cook at a street festival. I'm here with CJ, and today he is going to teach me about street festivals. Hi, CJ. Hi, this is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun. Daniel Cook. How many people come to this festival? A well, million? Well over a million every every year for the last three years. This is the largest street festival in Canada. It's been running for 11 years. And it's a Greek festival specializing in food, but there's something here for everyone from games to the stages. Entertainment for games? everyone. Games? Four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Wish me luck. Well, good luck, buddy. I think you can do this. Go! Oh! Why a mile again? Hey, I think we should get something big. I'm getting yeah, a little hungry. I do hungry. too. Let's go get some. And this is chicken on a stick or a souvlaki, as the Greeks call it. Come on, hold it up. There's baklava, there's a Greek candy. Ooh, ice cream! You really like your ice cream, don't you? Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun at this event. We had food, Greek food, we played some Olympic games, and now I know that the mayor wants to see you, so let's go see him. What do you think a mayor does? The mayor's job is to basically run the city. He's in charge of everything from garbage men who come to buy to pick up the garbage, to the city workers who come by and what help about, run this event. What about the police? Yeah, he's in charge of the police too. I'd like to be a mayor too. What would you like most about being the mayor? Mm, I'd have control of the city. I'm here with David, and today he is going to teach me about what it's like to be a mayor. Hi, David. Daniel, it's so nice to meet you. This is Daniel Cook and the mayor. I know CJ just sent you over here to say hello here at the Taste of the Danforth with all these wonderful Torontonians. And you know, it's really fun being the mayor. Mm -hmm. Every day I wake up and say, what a great day to be the mayor. And what was the festival like? Did you have fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The games. The games? Yeah. Did you get to eat too? Yeah, it was the souvlaki. Do you like souvlaki? Yeah. Pita bread? Although there is one thing I didn't try. What's that? That. You Baklava. didn't try that. No, no, well, no, no, no. You know what this is? You Baklava. do, because you told me it's baklava. It's a very famous Greek dessert. You know what? You're not supposed to eat it on television because it drips. So, but I think we should try anyway. What do you think? Yeah. You know what? I what? like dessert. Me too. Well, I like you... dessert better than my dinner sometimes. Yeah. Well, don't tell anybody, but I like dessert better than my dinner. Oh. Mm. Mmm, this is good. Mm. What do you think of the baklava? Mm. Very good? Mm. <laughs> you can say that again. Mm -hmm. How do you become a, a mayor? A mayor? Well, there's an election in which yeah. everybody who's 18 or over gets to vote. Why can't kids vote? You know, I, it's always been the law that way. Maybe we should change it. Do you think we should try and change it? Yeah. Would you like to vote now as a kid? Mm, yeah. Can I count on your support? Mm, I, you bet. Excellent. Well, in that case, we'll have to change it. I think kids should vote. Starting at age six, what do you think? Well, I, keep, I drop one piece. After you walk in the festival, what are you going to do after that? Well, I have to make a speech. And then I might eat dinner. I haven't had dinner. I'm having dessert before dinner. Yeah. 
little bit, a little bit of a switch. Balls. It is. Hey, I know, I know. Why don't you make a? Why don't you make a law that that everybody should have should have to have dessert before they have their dinner? I think that's great. <laughs> I'd get reelected forever if I did that. Don't I like that. Thank you very much, David, for teaching me about what America does. It was a lot of fun. Daniel, thanks. I learned a lot too. Why don't we have another bite before we go? Yeah, let's have another bite before we go. All right. Yummy. Thank you very much. I just, uh, I also want to acknowledge Daniel. I don't know if he's here, but where is he I'm on here. stage? I just got interviewed by a seven year old boy who's at his first Taste of the Day in Fort. Daniel, welcome to the Taste of the Day in Fort. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.